Now the thigh bone or femur is uh, one of the largest bones of your body. It's divided into several, three distinct regions, the top, middle, and end, or proximal and distal ends. Now on the proximal end, the features that you'd want to use to help you uh, identify this bone is first of all the head. Now the head, remember, has this little end into it here, the depression, where the ligament uh, pulls it into the, uh, pubic, or into the pubic bones. It's also got the neck. Now this neck is the part that is most commonly fractured when somebody says they break their hips. Uh, people who, de who develop uh, bone loss, osteoporosis, this, this neck right here will become weakened and when people stand up many times that breaks if they are suffering from severe osteoporosis. Um, people, co people commonly say they fell and broke their hip. Generally it's going to be more that they broke their hip or this neck and they fell. Now attached to the, uh, to the proximal end you have these two big bumps. These are the trochanters. The greater trochanter because it's larger and the lesser trochanter, the smaller of the two. On the distal end of the femur, you have the two condyles. This one on the outside is the lateral condyle. This on the inside is the medial condyle. It's the two condyles that are going to contact the next bone. That's the, going to be the tibia. And they're going to, together, make up the knee joint. Notice that there's a groove that runs down the center. So it's only on these two points that the femur actually sits on top of the tibia. From this view you can see how the femur on, my, on your right and the tibia on your left will fit together. Now notice that there's only those two points where the condyles contact the tibia. And between on the tibia you have a small raised area that fits nicely into the groove here. This is going to help keep the knee from sliding back and forth, lateral and medial.